Hi everyone, it's Paul, it's Matt, we're here to talk about The Last Jedi trailer just dropped, um, and uh, you know, there's been a lot of talk about it, there's a, there's a, there was one thing in particular that I thought, oh, you know, in all the talk, I haven't seen this particular topic brought up. Okay. So, uh, I would throw Maybe this Maybe you also there. observed it. Yes. Right, you were... right perhaps. <laughs> you guys are all incredibly brilliant, and you probably already saw this, and you're like, why are you giving me this video, Matt? It's like, like no, uh, we're all the same club. Thank you for expressing what we know oh, together. Good point. We're all much of better. the same Much mind. better than complaining. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, so okay. It's an exciting trailer. It, you know, it does. It's like, ooh, there's a lot of, a lot of cool scenes in it. A lot of, I, I like all the loop dialogue, and sure. I like the uh, Snoke uh, narration over sure, the back. Yeah, yeah. Cool. But okay, so there's the scene where uh, the implication is that uh, Kylo is about. To, He's choosing whether or not to shoot at Leia yes. on her ship. Yes, okay. that's what it seems like. Um, I think. I think if that is indeed the case, I think he will choose not to shoot her. By the way, this is not what this is not the thing I really want to talk about, but it's related. So, um, I think he will make the choice not to shoot her in that okay. moment because it would just be it would be too repetitive. Like, oh, I have a choice to kill my parent. Yeah, make the choice to kill your parent. Oh, I have another choice to kill my parent. Kill my parent. Like, you know what I mean? Like, it seems like yeah. narratively. He would make a different choice the second time based on the fact that, oh, you know what? The first time I did this, it really hurt me so much. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do this with my. That mom. makes sense, That's I guess. I, I was thinking like, well, you know, while it might seem like, you know, uh, let's do something narratively different. <laughs> I, st I, I was thinking, well, she did die. We were thinking with <laughs> right with Carrie Fisher being unfortunately <laughs> deceased. Yeah, How so. do you get? I don't. But yeah, I don't. I think if you do that, I think they're looking at a redemption arc for Kylo in some way, or an attempted redemption arc. And if you have him kill Leia, that's no. Ne <laughs> it will never happen. Han, you can come back from that. You can. I think you can. I think I think you know you set the person up to do something really horrible, and then I think the end end beat them, which they probably can't do now, would be forgiveness from the mom. It would be Leia forgiving sure. him. No, yeah. And you're not going to have that in in the final. No. Uh, uh, movie, but anyway, okay. So that aside, uh, this is a Kylo-related moment. So as he's flying in to maybe push the button or not, we hear this voiceover. It's him talking. Sure. And I wrote it down just so I get the exact oh, line. Weird. He says, "Let the past die. Yes, die, die. Kill it if you have to. If you have to. It's the only way to become what you were meant to be. Oh, oh, meant to be. Okay. So obviously." That's kind of his own personal motto, right? Sure, he was trying yeah. to kill the past. He, sure. he did. He, he killed it. He killed Han. Yep, he did kill Han. There. To get rid of his past. Okay, but it occurred to me, is he talking to himself? Because he has given himself some pep talks, but he doesn't, hasn't really talked to himself sure, before. Yeah, he sure talks to don't. Darth. He talks to the spirit of Darth Vader. Sure, yeah, talks he to talks spirit, to Snoke. Yeah. Sure. But he hasn't done a, come on, Kylo, you can do this. <laughs> so... I think that is him talking to Ray. Okay, who is she going to kill? Right. So, so let the past die. She's she is totally hooked up, you know, like held up by this notion of her parents. They're going to come back for her one day. Yeah. And so I think he in this beat they are in the same place, and he's telling her, "Let go of the past. Yeah, yeah. Kill it if you have to, like I did. Yeah, I killed yeah, the past." Yeah. Uh, and you know it's the only way to become what you were meant to be. So, you know she's attempting to like as we see later in the uh, trailer, and I think it's I, I don't think they're trying to be deceptive here. Uh, Snoke is you know force torturing her, sure, yeah, and he says yeah. fulfill your destiny, sure, yeah, yeah. which is exactly what Palpatine told Luke. That's true. When he's torturing, like, yeah. fulfill your destiny. Sure, yeah, yeah. right. So I'm uh, just saying I've got you, you a little parallel there. But Car Selma told me that once too. Uh, did he tell you fulfill your? Were yeah, you trying yeah. to buy a Destiny? I was trying like to a, a Dodge Destiny. <laughs> okay, I can see you're you're buying this. This is good. I'm, I'm glad you're you're on board on this. Okay, so my thought is uh, I'm not big on the uh, what do they call it the gray the the the, or the, the, the Raylo or whatever the where, they, where Kylo and Ray are going to become an I I don't see that oh romantic item yeah but do you I, see the gray Jedi. 
Yeah. Right where they somehow... Oh, yeah, where lighten. they find a balance between yes. light and dark. Yes. I, if that's what the gray Jedi is, that's yes. What it is. That's what it is. Okay. All right. I think. That's um, what I think it is. I, but I think that... wrong, put it in the... That's right. right. Please, yes. So I think Ray. I mean, the idea that Ray would uh, just be like, "Let's be friends, Kylo," after watching him kill kill, kill Han, who it was very important to her. Like he sure, was kind of yeah. like her mentor. Well, almost like her yes. father figure. Like for a couple hours. Yeah. Right for a couple <laughs> hours. Agreed. <laughs> but I think it was a little longer than that. But yeah, <laughs> in in movie terms, it was like thirty minutes. But anyway, yeah. Um, so that was. Not only the fact that Han meant something to her, but she knows that's his dad, and the, sure. the guy was unarmed yeah. and just standing there, sure, and you yeah. freaking killed him. So yep, she's sure. not going to be like, you know what, you're okay. So that's not a thing. I don't see that being a thing. Okay. But, because they try to imply that at the end of this uh, yeah. trailer, right? Where she's like, like, I, I need, need someone to help me, and then yep. there's a hand show reaching me direction. out. Show me direction. So I think way. those are two different scenes. Okay. However, he is reaching his hand out to someone. Sure. It's kind of like a come with me thing. So here's here's what I think. That is being deceptive, here, though. Here's my theory. So you think they're being deceptive in that way? I do think they're being deceptive. Although I do think, as I just noted by this uh, dialogue, that I think they're going to be together. Okay. I think you're going to have a situation where Snoke... I also think that the first lines that we hear where Snoke's like, "You, I saw a new raw power, but... You're awesome. <laughs> I don't know. I saw something else in you. Something special. Right. That could be him talking to Ray as well. Because sure. we know he's yeah. in the same room right. with Ray sure. and saying, fulfill your destiny. Right, right, right. That could be the preface to that. I think he... Snoke... You're awesome. Snoke has yeah. seen... Right. <laughs> Snoke uh, knows of Ray, obviously, because uh, Kylo sure. got his axe kicked yep. got by her. her. Yeah. Uh, sure. And so he's now identified, oh, wow, that's a powerful force user out there. Sure, I kind of want to train her yeah. instead of you, yeah, Kylo. Yeah. So I think he sends Kylo and the Knights of Ren sure. to go capture her. Okay. Bring her to me. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So somewhere in like the middle of the film or so, Kylo goes to Octu, and they find, manage to convince her to come with them sure, in some way. Maybe that hand reaching out is is connected to that moment. Okay. Okay. So they more or less kidnap her or something, bring her to Snoke. During that time, that's where Kylo could be. She's she's resisting their sure, teachings, yeah, true, but true. that could be a situation where Kylo is trying to advise her, like, sure, look, yeah, yeah. let the past die. Kill it if you have to. Mm. Like, if you wanted to kill Luke, that'd be cool with me. Um, <laughs> it's the only way to become what you're meant to be. So he's attempting to kind of cajole her into joining their side as well in that moment. Okay. And so I think that, so I'm just saying, that line, uh, let the past die and all that yeah, stuff, I think that's Kylo talking to Ray. So, okay. I mean, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I agree. It's, I mean, it's all who, it's, who it's, knows, it's, right? Who yeah. knows? I mean, um... Any thoughts from you on the trailer in general? You don't have to necessarily... I mean, it's a surprise that they seem to be setting up for the audience to think that, that they might team up, you know? Mm. That it's, you know, it's... It's funny that, you know, I think they, the whole idea about them perhaps getting together, or at least working together anyway, suggests that, yeah, it was all right that he killed Han. I know. There is so, a, like a brushing over it if, yeah, if that happens. Yeah, right. So that's what, you know, is surprising. Actually. There was a, I heard there was an interesting quote from uh, Ryan Johnson, uh, the director, who said that Kylo and Ray are like two faces of the same protagonist. Right. Which is like... Protagonist, really, Kylo Ren. Okay, yeah. So, uh, so that's. I mean, who knows? It could be a big misdirect and whatever. I, I, I still see him as a villainous character, but I think he is going to have a bit of a redemption arc in some way. I think the way he redeems himself, maybe it's to try to take down Snoke at some point. But I don't. I think Snoke survives into Episode Nine. I guess. I mean, yeah. as the main villain. I mean, for me, you know, I guess the way to play would be like what's happened before is happening again because. You know, oh, let me train you. No, no, don't betray me. And they fight, and then Snoke dies. And that seems very familiar. And, you know, this is the person well, which, who was which okay with getting... Oh, you're talking about from... Yeah, uh, Empire. Ben, ben and... No, from Empire. Well, so oh, yeah, sorry, not Empire, sorry. From Jedi. Uh, okay. So, you know, he's fighting 
the son, and then, oh, we'll join together, no, no. Oh, sure, sure, sure. No. And then it's like, oh, no, you're talking you about Palpatine. My, yes, Palpatine, yes. Okay, sorry, That's I thought you were talking about. about Anakin, sorry. No, 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 Palpatine, yes. Well, Anakin was there, too. Sure, so sure, and he had that similar beat where he, he betrayed his, uh, right. you know, so Obi-Wan. So, you know, if that happens again, uh, I mean, and I'm one who is okay with having another Death Star. Which, so. I'll, just, I'll just say this, throw it in there, it's actually the line where Luke in the trailer says... You know, oh, I, only one time I've seen this much power. I didn't fear it then. I fear right. it now. Right. I mean, that is, that kind of goes to that point of, you know, there's a cycle where we train people, get them really <laughs> powerful, and then they just screw us over. Maybe I shouldn't do that this time. So, anyway, we'll see if that's a thing. Yeah. But, anyway, just thought I'd throw that out there. Uh, thanks for letting me get that off my chest. Mm -hmm. Bye, everybody. <laughs>